Yo, welcome back to another episode of Rage Shadow Legends. So, I have just received news that there is a guaranteed void, uh, legendary tomorrow, all right, uh, which is Shagor. So basically, they want to force us to do a uh, Sand Devil <laughs> because. Um, this, he is a very good sleep champion, right? So, um, people are using his uh, A1 to sleep the Sand Devil boss. I don't have him, okay? Not that I would need him. My Sand Devil team, if you watch back my previous video, I don't even need to have a sleep champion at all. So, I'm curious though, like, <clears throat> like, how much they would price this champion um, Riho Riho of the same uh, value for Sand Devil uh, let, me, let me find Riho Riho for the Sand Devil is at 80 voids guaranteed she does a lot better All right, she brings a ton of debuffs for the Sand Devil right this we all know so if they are pricing Shagor way above 80 voids, I guess it's an instant or easy skip for anybody because he is not even required in Sand Devil. Okay. That's all. Quick news. So today we're gonna use Python in Hydra because I feel like I have not done enough justice. Uh, for Python in terms of Hydra right so after some brainstorming I came up with a team to try out in heart so let's see what the team is okay this is the team okay try to use uh, champions that can be obtained easily uh, Uko is a fusion champion so Python himself V6 is a free login champion. In terms of um, burn, right? If you have ninja, you don't need to use Chronum. Okay? I don't have a ninja, so. I have to use this. <laughs> right? Uh, okay, for Tomnesia, right? Um, I'm not using someone like a Venus. Or Mordecai because their AoE burn is four turn cooldown. If you don't have Tumnesia, you can hit use someone like a Skrank. Skrank is very powerful. His AoE burn is also a uh, three turn cooldown, and his Void Affinity. He is not going to weak hit. Okay, so here I'm using um, Tumnesia instead because Tumnesia's burn also have a chance to decrease speed right so what we have in this team is basically increased speed from Uko Uko uh, although the increased speed skill is also a revive but we are not using him for the revive right we are using him primarily for the block buffs and decrease speed decrease attack okay Python cleanse and block debuff easy uh, V6 V6 in place of a Chris, if you don't have a Chris, she can provoke and do ally protection and also decrease speed, which is very, very powerful. So, Jamarsa is another secondary reviver, also a secondary single target decrease speed. Alright, uh, this decrease speed on Hydra heads, if, if it procs, it cannot be resisted. Okay, therefore, she don't need any accuracy. So Chronum, pairing Chronum with Jamasa is really simple. So Chronum will proc his um, HP burn activation every five active skills being used either by you or the Hydra heads. Okay. So Tumnesia, enough said on Tumnesia. Tumnesia is a very powerful AOE HP burn champion, commonly used in Spider. But the stun, we will not be stunning the head, Hydra heads, alright? So, I have not tried this team. This is the first time. 
let's see how it works right so this is the first time I'm using mighty uko in a hydra <laughs> okay my mighty uko is in a stun set for arena okay did not land a block buff weak affinity Tunisia is gonna land the HP burn okay here we go uh, I'm trying to land the decrease speed on the heads right so over here Cronum will just use his HP burn activation okay um, I feel like uh, who's this guy again the mis the decay the head of decay is gonna catch up and cleanse okay so we need to activate all the burns okay before time runs out right so let's use this okay uh, let's not use his burn yet it's a pretty fun team to use he's gonna cleanse next turn so let him cleanse all right okay okay no problem that block buff the good thing about um, Uko is he can remove the buff and place a block debuff really awesome let's see how this team will do right I cannot place any debuff right now until Uko takes his turn okay the primstone just procs right through that easy okay nice so Jamasa also supports by healing right so we got the healing covered okay land the burn again going to decrease speed on everybody increase speed okay Alright. Friends. Very fun team to use in fact. Okay. Normally Tomnija's um, A3 hits really hard. But because I'm not using him in a savage gear or something like that. <laughs> that's why you will see a bit lack of damage from Tomnija. Okay, we'll keep the provoke. Um, V6 is, is already doing the ally protect all good so let's see let's see how this team will do all right okay Yamasa not doing much there we need to try to kill off this head because it's really really annoying Okay, land the burn. Okay, we will need to provoke now. So, U Mighty Uko's uh, decreased attack really helps here. Alright, so, which is okay, provoke. pretty decent damage so far right burn activation I feel like I'm not familiar with um, mighty Uko's using mighty Uko in Hydra I keep forgetting to use the increase speed <laughs> alright it's all Gucci okay let's see if because HP burn oriented team right usually have a hard time freeing um, the champions from the hydra head because the, they don't hit really hard so let's see another interesting fun fact about pairing Cronum with uh, Jamasar her partner his partner is that um, he gets a free revive from the passive which is okay very very strong okay 
we managed to free it no big deal now if Uko would just get back to his A2 thank you let me try to remove that nice okay we block buff just in time so if you manage to take out the uh, head of mischief that's a good bonus which is their their all the heads turn meter is reduced which is which buys you more time essentially this is a very good bonus to have in case you didn't know okay we have a decreased speed so i'll let the fight run through and then we'll see how much we do at the end Okay, so <clears throat> pretty decent for a HP burn team, right? Um, so if we look at the damage here, Tumnesia is doing a whopping 24 mil, Chronum doing a 10 mil. Okay, I feel like I need to make Chronum faster. Um, he's in like a 200 speed, right? So, okay pretty decent team <clears throat> viable for hydra heart i'm not sure about brutal feels like this team a bit slow for um uh, brutal maybe because i'm not familiar with uko using uko in uh hydra because i'm always saving the a3 for a revive right the a3 you can use for increased speed okay Uko definitely suffers from the uh, when the when a hydra head revives uh, pops up with a new hydra head right 
they have that uh, buff almighty something buff so he will not land the block buffs which is a problem okay <clears throat> i think that is what caused the 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 damage uh, to be lesser than my regular damage okay having them pop the poison smoke really took a toll so anyways this is one of the ideas that i can share with you that you can use okay looks like most of them are free to play uh, champions that you can obtain um, Tumnesia wise you can use uh, if you don't have Tumnesia you can use Skrank or best a uh, worst case scenario is a Mordecai right so definitely usable for this team for this uh, Hydra hard level so let's quickly go over the the builds and masteries for all the champions I use so Jamasa is in a bolster set right bolster set these are the stats okay good hit point defense good speed decent resistance we have a miracle heal blessing fully booked and the masteries I went with a timely intervention okay as for Tumnesia um, this build is actually for spider so you can use a different more aggressive build like a savage or perception so I'm in a immortal and a re re regeneration gear okay so these stats are not ideal for or hydra you need more attack okay just so you know good speed and good accuracy um, did not fully book his skill fully book his A2 and A3 okay and for as for the masteries went with oppressor this oppressor mastery is actually for um, uh, dungeon solo if you're using for hydra you can either use uh, war master or eagle eye right that would be ideal okay chronum <laughs> actually chronum um, i'm still thinking what is the best gear on him all right so he can definitely do some raw damage not the top tier but a bit of raw damage right uh, I use a leftover savage a little gear with crew okay to do some decent damage okay I definitely can bump up the speed you can make him faster okay um, good accuracy that's about it put him in a HP chest so that he can survive longer okay um, did not fully book him um, this A2 has a 90% chance but you can obviously choose to fully book him right um, went with a brimstone blessing as for masteries went with a eagle eye um, definitely you can also go for war master as well instead of eagle eye right so for Uko Uko is in a stun set this is arena build right so if you are using this com it, and then you want to save resources uh, you can use python and uko together like this uh, in arena defense okay so in a stun set and in perception also uh, one reaction ring and two revenge accessories okay good hit point good defense good speed good accuracy okay um, I think fully book his skill um, this blessing is actually for arena okay went with a fearsome presence for the stun set <clears throat> alright Python um, in the bolster and a fortitude set okay um, not the best set in the world definitely you can make his hit point higher the higher the better decent defense good speed good resistance okay fully book his skill lightning cage ma uh, blessing for arena so went with unshakable okay and lasting gifts okay as for v6 um i have her in a bolster set with immortal set right uh, okay Def decent hit point and defense uh, these stats are enough for hydra heart 
if you want to do uh, brutal or nightmare she will need uh, higher stats right <clears throat> good enough accuracy okay <clears throat> um, I think I fully booked her skill and have a brimstone blessing as for the masteries went with war master okay and the support tree I have a uh, lasting gifts and master hexer okay so that's my team for you very fit to play friendly and um, so I hope you guys can build a team for yourself for, for this uh, rotation and that's it so if you like my content please like and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one